Also in the book, you, you describe the, the three P's of uh, DEI journeys, purpose, pitfalls, and, and progress. Can you share more about this with listeners as, as, as well, please? Yeah, so the three P's is, you know, after I wrote the book, I was thinking, you know, what are those things that people, whether they're leaders in organizations or they're an individual on their own journey, uh, what are those things that we can all connect with? And when I thought about it, it was purpose, pitfalls, and progress. So purpose is, again, that question of, what's important to us or what's important to me as an individual why do i seek to you know improve in this area and this is not for us to have you know our communications team give us the best party line this should be a truly authentic genuine answer about why is this important to us as an organization or as an individual what are we trying to accomplish um in my book and i often say in my consulting you know ben and jerry's is a fantastic organization they've done so much work in the social justice and workspace but you know what we can't all be ben and jerry's and that's okay you know maybe our mission is not the same as theirs um you know our purpose our stakeholders are different and so when we think about our purpose we have to be honest about who we are and who we want to be and so that's you know that purpose question and, and that kind of sets our goal what's that ideal state what are we working towards then the next question is holding up the mirror so we've decided who we want to be and why we hold up the mirror what's holding us back what are those pitfalls and that's probably the hardest thing for organizations to answer because we all like to talk about the good but we don't always like to reflect on the bad and the things that have maybe held us back sometimes they're grave mistakes as an organization. Sometimes there are things that we've overlooked. Maybe we say we want a diverse recruitment pool, but we really haven't truly put the effort to diversifying our recruitment pool. Maybe we've gone to 10 new schools, but did we really truly go to schools that serve minority populations, for example? Have we really uh, thought about non-traditional ways to get our uh, recruitment efforts? So maybe it's not a college degree. Maybe it's a certification. Maybe it's a community college. And so we gotta hold up the mirror is the point. You know, we, we can all have the best intentions, but if we're not honest about either the mistakes we've made or the things that may be holding us back to get to that place where we're you know leading towards then we're never going to be able to make progress and at that individual level you know sometimes it's being honest about how you grew up or the blind spots that you have or the areas of insecurity maybe that you have in talking about uh, pronouns or talking about you know a difficult area talking about race you know or, or really engaging with your team right we all have areas to grow but we got to be honest about those pitfalls and the last is progress. So we talked a little bit about that earlier, but you know, progress is all about what are the short-term and long-term metrics that tell us when we have made progress? How do we get to that ideal state of purpose? And I think that's truly where analytics comes in um, because we, we must have you know, short-term and long-term ways of saying we're on the right track or no, we need to revisit and rethink. And you know, progress doesn't have to be linear. <laughs> that's one of the, the challenging things. I really encourage organizations to try new things, you know, think outside the box and be okay with saying, hey, we tried this thing. It didn't work the best. You know, we tried recruiting at these three new schools and we didn't do a great job there. Maybe we need to revisit this strategy. You know, we should be able to experiment and try new things and be honest when they're working and not working in order to really make progress. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe via your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.